Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Now, my deepest apologies to everyone that was in the servers that I jumped into. I went to about three, four different servers, and every single one of them had some kind of exploiter or bad language, just interruptions. Um, if you were not an exploiter and you wanted to say that it was your internet speed. I do apologize if it was, and I, I made a mistake. Um, that does happen from time to time. I do make mistakes, and I will admit to them. Um, but I just, I don't want to chance it. So, ooh, oh, I don't want to move that one. I want to move the other one. Give me this one. Jump, uh, jump, no, and jump. There we go. Oh, no, no. Give me that. Move. Woo. So, um... If you were in the game with me, I do apologize that I, I left out. Um, we are going to be building tonight, and I need to, let's see, I need to get some doors back up there. These in particular, because I missed last time. And we need to build. Um, we are back to the building phase. So, um, I think I'll do ladders. Wait, do I need... I can't, I can't even tell. I can't see up there to the very top. I've already got ladders. I need doors. I need more doors. More doors! Glorious doors! So, we'll go get the fat door. Like that. And uh, I'm gonna lay them sideways this time. Actually, can I lay them down? Would that, would that be easier? I don't know. Co, did you just burp in the microphone? I did. I did. I tried to cover it up. And that was... That was my fault. I, I completely burped in the microphone. Code, what is this? This is my first time watching one of your videos. What, what do you do? Well, I play Roblox, first off. Um, if you're here because you got one of my PAX cards and I was passing out the business card, thanks. Awesome. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to like hit that subscribe, like, smash button, uh, whatever that thing is. Um, but mainly, I just I talk and play while building in one of my favorite games ever. Okay, do you play anything else besides Roblox? Yes, I do. Um, in fact, this is this is like um, my staple. Um, when I am recording, I record a lot of videos. I mean, a lot of videos. Um, I think I'm up to like 2,000 something videos, and that's just in, what, five years? Which, I'm, that doesn't sound very impressive, but it's very impressive. I mean, that is a lot of videos for a lot of time uh, for one channel, you know? And it's just little of me. I'm doing it all by myself. Um, I would love to have, like, a, a manager or something like that who would do things. And I know what you're doing. You're commenting right now. You're like, God, I'll be a manager. No, that's not what I meant. I would love to have, like, an entire corporation called Primate Labs where... I could um, hire developers to go and create games of awesomeness and stuff like that. But you know what? I don't make money. This is not a money-making deal, you know? I mean, I do, I make money, but it's not, like, it's not sustainable. It's not a, not an income like, like uh, Markiplier. Markiplier makes a lot of money. Of course, he's he's got editing skills and everything else. I'm I'm not even gonna edit this. I mean, this is an unedited video. But code, what about the intro? That was live. I actually I introed live, and uh, that's that's how I make the videos. Code, you're just talking a lot. Yeah, I know, I know. I, I talk to myself, and I, you know, because that's the way all of my fans talk. That's how they sound. They're like, "Hello, code, how are you?" And that's. That's how I am. <laughs> For those of you that didn't know, uh, I do have attention deficit hyper disorder. It is um, a gift, but uh, I, whenever I run out of coffee, I tend to go off on rants on different things. You know? And I think that is one of the appeals of the channel is, oh my goodness, I just got 96%. All right, let's get a little sliver of this right here. Uh, if you don't know what I'm playing, this is Lumber Tycoon 2, and uh, it is very fun. It's on Roblox. By the way, you don't play Roblox. If somebody says, hey, do you play Roblox, uh, you, you can answer honestly and say, no, I don't play Roblox. I play 
Lumber Tycoon 2. I play Phantom Forces. I play... Uh, it was one of the biggest things that I saw at PAX that people just didn't know. They didn't know that you could develop games inside Roblox. They thought Roblox itself was a game. And the answer to that, sir, or ma'am, is no. It is not just a game. It is... That was not enough. It is an entire building system. Oh, which I teach you how to do. Um, I have tutorial videos on here where I teach you how to uh, create games and create functions and scripts and, and build. Um, I also wrote an entire book on the subject called the Advanced Roblox Coding Book. Um, it is the second book in a series. The first one is The Ultimate Guide by David. Uh, nice guy, by the way. He, uh, he did some, some live streams over there on Twitch and Twitter and stuff like that. See that? See? I, I can cross-promote. It's cool. I'm good at it. Come on, did you get stuck? What happened? Where are you? Wait a second. I thought you just... Didn't you go in there a second ago? Oh, okay. There, there it goes. Hmm. 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 No, it's not Minecraft. Although I did sound like a villager right then. Wee! There we go. Alright. Let's take and toss this up. Did you guys... Oh, I, I guess it hasn't released yet. Um, so alongside the release of Lumber Tycoon 2, I do other videos. Like I said, uh, I am releasing one called Rescue Pets today. You gotta go check that one out. That was a... Uh, by one of the developers I met at PAX. And I, I am totally going to refer to PAX because it was like one of the coolest experiences this year so far. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get back here. 93% poopy. All right, let's just get a bigger piece there. There we go. We'll use that one to build later. Burp, 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 burp. Move, move. And let's throw this right up here and grab another throw it up here by the way I have been working on the um, building system inside my lumber but I wanted it to be modular modular it's gonna be great you're gonna love it <laughs> sorry that was no politics <laughs> Did he just impersonate Trump? <laughs> it's getting weird. <laughs> um, for those of you who were wondering why I only released one video yesterday, I had to go to my uncle's funeral. And that's a hard, hard thing to do. Um, a lot of you probably have not experienced a loss or of a family member or something along those lines yet um, it is inevitable it will happen eventually um, and it's something that you can mention because even though it's uncomfortable it's something that every human being has to face the inevitable end of life and it's, it's scary. It is a very scary topic to like talk about. It's scary to discuss. Um, if you do have questions, I highly encourage you to talk to your parents. Parents, if you have kiddos who are asking these questions, be open and honest about them. Because it can be. Um, I've talked to my kids about um, what's going to happen like when I die. Hopefully... It's going to be a long time in the future. Hopefully I still have a long life ahead of me. And if I don't, that is okay. Accidents do happen. You know, people pass away for multitudes of reasons. That's not any reason to stop living. Live your life. Enjoy each other. This is also one of the like biggest messages I try and drive home every single day. Be nice. Because... 
everybody's time here on earth is limited you know and it's a good thing when you enjoy others companies um if you've experienced a loss in the family whether it be an aunt an uncle a mom a dad a brother a sister uh, a child it is th there's no words that can comfort you or make you feel better and that's okay too because everyone grieves in their own way everyone um, heals in their own way um, yeah, I'll, I'll move on topics. Sorry. The only reason I'm talking about it is because it's something that I experienced today. And if there if there's anybody from my family who's watching right now, that my deepest condolences and I I apologize for. Well, I'm thinking about you. I don't I don't apologize because I, I, there's nothing that I need to be sorry for, but. I do want you to know that I've been thinking about you guys and thinking about the family. Um, my uncle was one of four brothers. And <laughs> no offense, they're a bunch of old geezers now. <laughs> uh, see, that would be an instance where I could say, okay, boomer. Actually, no, I couldn't. Um, my dad is the, the youngest of the brothers, and he was born in 45. He's part of the silent age. So I can't even say that to him. I can't say okay boomers to any of them. But they're a bunch of good old boys who, uh, if, if I called them at any given time, they'd stop what they're doing and, and help out one of the kids. Hmm. It's pretty pretty cool. So, we experienced the loss of, of one of them today. Um, he passed away on the 29th. Um, he was suffering from dementia, which, uh, if, for those of you that don't know, Alzheimer's and dementia, it's forgetfulness. It's um, where you basically lose your memories. And my grandmother had Alzheimer's. It's a very horrible disease it's a horrible horrible thing to lose memory because without memory one loses themselves it's um it's part of your identity it's who you are so and i have fear of it i have fears that uh someday i will lose my memory here we go again to the dark side <laughs> the dark side of the discussion which is okay to talk about I, I don't want this to be like, oh, poor Heath, or oh, poor family. That's not... Mm -mm. You come here to watch me build, to watch me um, play, and to talk about these kinds of things. Like 120% on a blueprint that just randomly spawned. That's... <sighs> okay, fine. Now, can I do it again? can't add more to it. Oh well. Can I move this? Completed. It's okay. It says completed blueprint, but it doesn't give me a move option because these like that gives me a move option. But this one does not. Can't move it. Completed blueprint, but nothing there. Now, what happens if I just reload the space? I'm going to I'm going to check. Because used to, you would get gray wood. Uh, and then I think Defaultio fixed that. So it's it's no longer gray wood. It's something else. But, whoa, that was kind of freaky. Did you see all the glass disappear? <laughs> oh, no, I'm on a toilet seat. Oh, okay. So hi there, um, everyone. Hi, fans. How are you? I'm doing well. Um... You know, the I haven't seen 
my uncle in quite some time, you know, and it's it's kind of the way the Haskins are. We we kind of are off in our own little worlds, and we get together every once in a while for um, like a cookout, Fourth of July, stuff like that. And if you are related to me, hi. <laughs> I've uh, uh, I would love to see your comments down below. Watch, I'm gonna have like 20 people be like, Code, I'm your son! No, you're not. <laughs> Unless you're Oliver. And then and then you can comment, I'm your son down below. But only if you're Oliver. <laughs> I'm gonna have 20 comments. I'm your son. That's fine. Comment what you like. Uh, don't comment bad things, okay? And I'll give this warning just one time. Um, if you comment something insulting to me, I don't play. I don't respond and I'll, I'll just I ban you from the channel and there's this option that says remove user from channel where you don't come back it's just that simple be nice well looks like the blueprints gone so it does not save an incomplete blueprint what the poop the poopies the poop masters that's what that is the Poop Master 9000. <laughs> like I said, just building today. Nice and easy. Uh, no tutorials. No how-tos. Trying to get this bridge done. And it's going to be a while. I've seen a lot of people post pictures saying that they're already completed with their palm bridges. And I'm like, dude, I just don't have that kind of time. I got... I got stuff to do and my normal life of, of getting stuff done. For those of you asking, I am an application development analyst for a company. I create business apps. What code, what does that mean? Well, okay, so like, let's say you go to the dentist office, right? The dentist office has the insurance form and the, the release form and all that stuff that you have to fill out on a piece of paper, which here, here's the whole process. The receptionist or the dentist will take and print out a form. So they're first off wasting paper and ink. And then they take that form. You take a pen and paper and you have to fill it out manually. There's no digital copy of it. And then it gets scanned back into the system where it becomes an image, which is non-editable. So... Um, if they don't scan it in, they have to go and manually type it all in. So there's a transfer of data loss there where somebody could type something in wrong. And that's what I do. I make efficiencies like this. I take that form and I create it into what's called a workflow or an application. So I know this is this is so boring code. Why are you talking about this? Because this is real life stuff what I do at my job. You know, I make the process easier, faster, more reliable, and have redundancy backups for it. So um, instead of going and filling out the form, instead of printing it out, you are handed a tablet or you are given a computer and you fill it out online. Like you fill out the form. When you're done, you submit. That form gets archived and saved and then sent to the next person in line. So say it's the nurse's station. The nurse station can look it over and say, yes, it looks good. Or they can say, hey, no, you missed some information and fix it. And then it gets archived. So the doctor can now have it and the doctor can approve it. And you can use that additional information in other places. Uh, you can then start building up a database to say how many patients in the month of February came in with influenza. You know, how many patients came in who were between the ages of 33 and 64? Um, you can now run these reports and these queries against the information that you now have. And it's much more efficient, a lot faster, and you didn't waste paper doing so. That's what I do. I know. A lot of people out there are like, Code, don't most places have that stuff? Yeah, how do you think they got there? Somebody had to go and make that thing. That's what I do. And uh, 
I do everything from the interface to the database itself. I use SQL, Microsoft SQL. Um, we have a huge server with a bunch of information on it. I make the redundancies to run backups and uh, make sure the information's stored and saved. I do all kinds of cool stuff. I love my job. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say is I love my job. Uh, and I'm really good at it. So, um, I would love to get into game making, like programming video games 24/7. That'd be awesome. Could you imagine? Oh no, I've I've got high hopes for ideas and and games, which I think I, I'll I'll start doing eventually. And that's what that's the whole point of uh, trying to figure out Code Primate Labs. No, stop, stop, stop. <clears throat> but you know what? Um, if I keep making these videos, or if I keep doing videos like this, I'm probably never going to reach that goal. So, just a heads up: eventually, the videos will slow. I might do like a video a week, somewhere along that lines. Right, right now, I do daily videos constantly but that's because that's the time that I have and quite frankly I want to go play video games more than I want to go create video games and I think that in lies the problem that's that's where my hang-up is I don't want to make the video games I just want the video games to be done have the ideas in my head make them work efficiently and then boom step one create game step two question mark step three profit <laughs> I guess it would be step one, think of an awesome video game step two, question mark, step three, profit games I really like role playing games, RPGs and I saw the premiere of Baldur's Gate coming out not the old one, the, the new one oh my gosh I'm excited. Um, the other thing I saw was Dark... The Dark Eye? The Book of Heroes? <clears throat> Anyhow, I should go and find that game to see if I can, I can download that. I don't even know if it's out yet, but when it comes out, that's definitely going to be my uh, Dungeons & Dragons Online replacement. Do, 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 do. Dungeons and Dragons Online? Code, what are you talking about? There's this game called Dungeons and Dragons Online. Very awesome. Very fun. You should go and try it. Do, 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 do. Boop. They have premium access if you want to purchase premium access. You don't have to. But Oh, by the way, not sponsored. I need to throw that disclaimer in there. Do, 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 do. Hold on. Good. Uh, should I swap sides? Start building up the opposite direction? I think so. There we go. Let's just do this real quick. Come on, come on, come on. Wow, that was that's a lot of progress for one night. Just saying. I've built doors. I'm taking the doors up with me. Boink. There we go. We might have to test and see how far along we are. That would that would be hilarious if I've overshot. I, I know I haven't. The ground has to disappear before I can say that I've overshot the uh, the mark. Oh, I need to do rotate, rotate, don't I? There we go. Whoa, I can't see really. There we go. It's easier to see when it's got the red outline. Code, how long are you going for tonight? Oh, I think I think about 30 minutes. 30 minutes should be good, right? A lot of people come to, to watch the builds. Which is amazing. Um, it's about time for me to move that platform up to the next level. I'm not sure that I'm going to move all of them up there. Maybe four or five. That's all I really need. You know, be more efficient. 
Now, did I build all these doors this episode? I can't remember. It's a lot of doors. I don't think I built all of them in one episode. Five minutes. Five minutes remain. I really should go get some coffee before recording Projute, though. Oh, by the way, I haven't recorded um, Nino Kuni in a while. So, yes, should I go back and do some more episodes of Nino Kuni? I was thinking about holding off until the weekend and recording like three hours straight of it. But that's up to you guys. If you want me to keep continuing on, I can do that. A lot of you are like, no, just play lumber. All right. How many of you are like sitting there eating breakfast, getting ready for school, watching my videos? Because I release at 12 noon my time. But if you save the video for the next morning for like uh, your breakfast, that's awesome. A lot of you are also going to be sitting there after school having your afternoon snack and enjoying the video, which is awesome too. Um, if you happen to be in school and you're eating lunch um, right now, then that means you are in central time. <laughs> Whoa, how do you figure that out? Oh, <clears throat> sorry. Maybe. I mean, it could be. You know, these are just guesses. I don't, I don't know exactly. Boom. There we go. We've talked about a lot during this episode. Um, I got asked a question inside my Discord. And it was... Uh, I don't know... It, oh, my phone's dead. I can't ask Google. I don't want to call it an existential question. It was a hypothetical question, definitely. Uh, hypothesis. No. Hypothetical means it's not a proven, it's just a, a what if question. And the question was code. Um, would you go forward in time or back in time? And I thought that was a wonderful question. So to whoever it was that asked the question, thank you. Because it makes you think. Big time. And here's where I start thinking too deep. Because if I go forward in time, okay, this is this is where my brain goes. If I travel forward in time, that means time will have to exist in that time that I go to. If it didn't, I wouldn't be able to, to go there. So simply by me existing in the future, I would ensure that a future exists. So that, that's a little deep thought. Um, say that existence or the world is supposed to end tomorrow, right? It's not going to, most likely. If it does, I mean, you got to like, comment, and subscribe right now because <laughs> just if it were to end tomorrow, and I were to travel to the future 10 years. That means that tomorrow's ending would never happen because I exist 10 years from now, causing a future. So, would I want to travel to the future? No. Now, in just, hey, would it be cool to go through the future and see things? Yes, it would. I think that would be an amazing feat. The next thing was uh, travel to the past. I don't want to change anything of the past. So simply by me going to the past, something would change because the matter in the place of where I would be existing would be changed. And I believe in chaos theory, which means like a butterfly could flap its wing and cause a typhoon in Orlando, Florida. And if a typhoon happens in Orlando, Florida, I am so sorry. I did not mean to predict that. Uh, it's purely coincidence. But um, if it were to just observe, that would be different. Because we can do that already. That's what history books and our, our history knowledge are for, is to learn and to study and to observe the, the past. Excellent question. Um, if I were to go to the past, right? I would be tempted to change things, which means I would not be in this existence of where I'm at now. And so far, I've had a very good 
life. I've made some good choices, made a couple bad choices, but for the most part, I enjoy my life, and I wouldn't I wouldn't want to change any of it. So, uh, again, I don't know if those are existential questions, but that's just because I don't know the meaning of existential. Hypothetical questions. I love hypothetical questions. If you have a hypothetical question that you would like me to try and answer, leave it in the comments down below. Again, if you came from PAX and you got one of my cards, thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. <laughs> in fact, just being here, if you're, if you're watching this particular point in time, like, comment, and subscribe down below right now. Uh, do, do the whole, like, oh, you have 10 seconds to hit that button, blah, blah, blah. Do, do that if you want. I mean, whatever whatever makes it easier for you to like, comment, and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Or you could comment, dude, you are so boring. Why did you talk the entire time? You could do that, too. I wouldn't mind. As long as you're not mean about it, I'm okay. I completely found a way to jump up the doors. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, okay. Stop playing around, Code. You, you, your time's about up. Your time is up, Code. What are you doing? Seriously. All right, fine. Fine, 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 fine. I, want, I wanted to check the doors, but I don't think we're going to be able to check the doors. Hmm. I guess we can We can just load. Here. Let me get out from the side here. Do, 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 do. Menu. Load. We're going to do a reload of the current slot. There we go. And this will be the last load. After I, I, I'll put it down, we'll drive out there, we'll go see how far it is, and, you know. Oh, what a good night. What a good night to record. I love nights like this. I love being calm and having the chance to just talk and I know it sounds very ASMR. <laughs> it's not meant to be, I promise. I like nights where I know I'm going to go into bed early, I'm going to wake up refreshed, and I'm going to go into work knowing that my videos will post, and then I've got uh, a great work day ahead of me. That's, that's efficiency, I think. It's the days where I know I'm only going to get about four hours of sleep, I'm stressed, and I'm trying to push videos. Those are the days that I kind of dread. And it happens sometimes. And that's okay. <sighs> I am tired. Maybe I should go into bed early. Get a few extra hours of sleep. That would be nice. I could do that. I think so. Let's see. It's almost 12 o'clock. Mm. Mm. I could. Hmm. But gotta get this video uploaded for you guys first. Right? Alright, here we go. Drop that down. Boom. How many doors did we miss up there? Oh. Well, I don't know how many doors did I miss. Okay, there's a couple, but they're open. That's fine. That's fine. Let's go grab a door. Or not a door. Let's go grab a, a car. War truck. And we'll, we'll take it out there. Hold on one second. Amazingly, I now have a pause button, by the way. Which works really well when you need to talk to your wife. Especially about clothes that you left on the bed because you went to a funeral and you had to change out of them. She's like, are you going to put these away? Or were you expecting me to? <laughs> well, I'll do it. I was going to do it. Hi, Hoover! Oh gosh, oh gosh. How far out can we go? That is not bad. Not bad at all. We're making some progress, right?
And it's fairly smooth. Look at that. Now, hold on. Do I... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Priming. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But it's your choice. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. I'm going to go put away some clothes. And seriously, I love you for being here. And don't take that the wrong way. It's okay to say I love you and mean it. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. There we go. I gotta, I gotta click the button and then I can do outro. outro.